At the Northwest University, we share our research findings and innovative ideas with society in general. We make it our business to engage with our communities, to learn from and be taught by them. In fact, the Northwest University's core business activities can only be regarded as significant and sustainable if we succeed in actively engaging with our communities of interest. You know, when, when we talk about Ikataling, we have to refer to the place where it really originated. Now, in 1987, in the Val Triangle, amongst all those communities, they were very much concerned about the quality of teaching in the townships. So a reverend, uh, Selo Musa, he approached the management of the Val Triangle campus and he asked for assistance. Now, the following year, in 1988, we started with a so-called Saturday school and we almost cater for all the subjects, like, like English and mathematics, physical science, life science, etc. Two years after that, we started with the same program here in Potchefstroom. But as the years went on, we decided to focus up to where we have it today. And currently, we have seven centers of Ikataling, namely the Wall Triangle Campus, Potchefstroom Campus, Mafeking Campus, Kimberley, Monkwe, that is near Sun City, Lichtenburg and Mamelodi. And we have more or less 2,100 kids on the program, catering for grades 10, 11 and 12. We have the so-called science stream, where the learners have four options, four subjects. It's mathematics, it's physical science, it's English and it's life science. And then the commerce stream, where they have mathematics as well, and then accounting, business economics and English and what is wonderful is that this whole program is enhanced is supplemented by a life skills program where we deal with issues like critical thinking skills how to study how to prepare for the examination HIV AIDS drugs early pregnancy career orientation and all the relevant issues as select learners who one can see that they they've got a, a a long vision that they will uh, make it uh, through the universities. Um, the Catalan project was a supplementary school. It, we had classes during Saturdays and during the holidays. Um, it helped a lot because most of the time when it's a holiday you want to take the day off or do whatever. But we actually used the time to study and catch up on the work. When they come to Catalan, because they are from different schools, what usually happens is that um, uh, teachers are not approaching uh, the content in the same way. So uh, when they come there, others are on par with the syllabus, others are behind, learners are not, do not have the same depth. Now you have to make sure that they, are on the same, uh, they, 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 they get the same depth and they are on the same page, all of them, at the very same time. There was a strike, there was a teacher's march, it went on for three months and because of that we couldn't go to school but during that time this is when we went to Ikateleng and it helped because I was able to be um, in the top four of my school. It helped a lot. I'm currently in the Golden Key. The Golden Key is an international honours society that um, awards the top 15 achieving students academically. Well, you know, all outreach programs like Ikataling, it's very much dependent on outside funding. The Ikataling project, I'm glad to say, it's one of the most comprehensive programs of its kind in the country. And it's been very successful, especially if we look at the high pass rates. My name is Chris Windle, and it all starts here.